could you explain a scenario of a transplant patient on tacrolimus with quote and quote therapeutic whole blood levels, yet they suddenly develop unexplained nephrotoxicity, tremors, or seizures? What's going on? The answer lies in protein binding. Tacrolimus, like other calcineurin inhibitors, doesn't simply circulate freely. In fact, approximately 97% of tacrolimus binds to blood components, about 80% adheres to red blood cells, and roughly 17% binds to plasma proteins, mainly albumin and alpha-1 acid glycoprotein. This leaves only 3% as the free, active drug, the very portion responsible for both its desired immunosuppressive action and potential nephrotoxicity and neurotoxicity. In certain conditions, like hypoalbuminemia, which is common after liver transplant, the binding capacity of tacrolimus decreases. This leads to an increase in the free, active drug concentration, even if total drug levels, bound to red blood cells, appear normal on standard routine monitoring. Routine tests measure the bound concentration, not the active free unmeasured fraction. Thus, a normal quote-unquote at goal level may conceal a dangerous surge in the free, toxic form of tacrolimus. Here's the key takeaway. In the right clinical context, a quote-unquote therapeutic level might not be safe at all. It's critical to consider protein binding dynamics, monitor albumin levels, and adjust doses accordingly to prevent hidden toxicity and ensure optimal patient care. What's even more intriguing is that tacrolimus levels can vary throughout the day. A higher level a few hours after administration may cause a slight increase in creatinine due to tacrolimus vasoconstrictive effect on the glomerular afferent arteriole. This results in intermittent fluctuations in creatinine, a hemodynamic effect. For further details on tacrolimus toxicity, please check out my other video displayed on the screen. Thanks and talk soon.